Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm going to uh, give you a bit of an overview on where I am with the series that I have in progress. So those of you that have been following my channel for a while will know that back in June I did uh, a bit of a oh my god uh, moment um, and I filmed an update and told you about where I am with series because I realised that it had kind of gotten a bit out of hand. So I haven't really been keeping an eye on it. I have made an effort uh, to focus on series in the second half of last year and I think I've done quite well. Um, so I decided that for 2023, yes again I'm going to try and work on bringing down the number of series that I have in progress and also try and work on bringing um, series um up to date where i own some of the books in the series to to read those books as well so even if i'm not up to date with the actual series itself i'm up to date with the ones that i own which will hopefully make it easier for me moving forward uh to manage it so that being said i have some stats that i want to go through with you if you've seen my video that I put out in June, then you will know that I had 106 series in progress. And that is just, I mean, I, I know there are others out there who have far more in progress than I do. Um, but that is a lot. And that is kind of, how did I get to that situation? Um and it's mainly because I would pick up series and I would um, for a while keep track of them, especially if they're long um, romance series, which some of them are. And I would then move on to other things or maybe I lost track of what the author was doing because I got sidetracked by other series. Um, so, yes, it is. It, yes, it was a bit of a situation that I was in. And I did myself a little tracker, I did a physical tracker for it, um, which has, it was helpful in a way, it was a visual representation, um, but I found that it wasn't really helpful to me to know um, the books that I had to continue, the books that were easily available. And I will go into what I'm doing now uh, about that a bit later on. So... How did I do? Um, I have set up a new tracker, so I know where I am on January the 1st. I'm not filming this on January the 1st, I'm filming this a little while later, but I have gone through and sorted out all the stats. So, in June, I started with 106 um, series. Words, they escaped me. Um, I started out with 106 series in progress. I have managed to either complete, bring up to date, or in the case of one series, DNF, 13 series. So that brings me down to 93 in total. Uh, there are another four series that I haven't pulled forward to January uh, because there's either because the, the, they're ongoing series, but at the time that I'm filming this, the author in question hasn't actually announced any more releases in those series. Now, I know one of them, it might have a release later on this year, but she is focusing on one of her other series at the moment. So there, there is four series. So that brings me down uh, to 89 series in progress. However, I did start six series between June and December 31st uh, which I suppose isn't too bad in terms of starting series it's not too bad um, but the good news is three of those series I actually completely finished and they are complete and up to date they're, they are series that are done there are no more books coming out um, so that's actually only three to carry forward into 2023, which leaves me with a total of 92 series in progress. So in total, I have reduced it by 14 series, which I'm really, really pleased about. Um, I think that's actually really good. I have been making use of um, a group 
on here called the final book support group it's run by steph at steph loves uh she runs it through her channel but she does have a discord as well which uh is available go and check out steph's channel uh her videos are about the final book support group um and it, it's just a great place it's really encouraging she does readathons i four to six times a year i'm not quite sure how many she's planning to do this year but i think she's planning to do at least four um and one happened in january it's actually already passed uh when that happened but she it's just a time when we can encourage each other and although it's called final book support group it isn't just about reading final books it's about continuing series as well and trying not to start new ones um but her focus for those readathons is for series and i have been using them uh to bring the number of series down because she will then run sprints on her channel and i've been taking part in those and it's just been really good and what i've been tending to do is um the two or three times that she ran it towards the end of last year um although she may have only done it for a weekend or a week I actually decided to dedicate the majority of the month to reading series, um, which, which actually helped because it meant that I got through a few more than if I'd just taken part for a weekend or for a week. So I'm really proud of myself. 92, I don't think, is a bad number to be starting the year with. So how am I keeping track of my series this year? Uh, I did say I would go into that. Now I have various ways of tracking my reading. I use Storygraph as an online um, because they give me lots of excellent stats which I wouldn't be able to work out for myself. I use my always fully booked uh, 2023 planner. I managed to nab one of these when they went on pre-sale back in October. Um, it does have a handy, I don't know if you can see that, series tracker. Now, ignore this because um i have been filling this in um but i just i've just listed out a few series that i know i want to continue with this year and again i just write in i don't write in the number of um books in the series uh for series that i'm in progress with i'm writing i'm starting with the next book that i have to read and doing it that way um it has two pages to allow you to track those I'm not going to use the bullet journal uh, setup that I had last year um, because I found that too confusing. It didn't really show me what I actually owned in terms of books. So what I've decided this year is uh, I kept an eye on YouTube towards the end of the year because I know there's a couple of channels who will bring out very detailed reading spreadsheets for people to use. I've not been successful at using spreadsheets, um, but... Ali at Hardback Hoarder has done a really comprehensive spreadsheet this year for tracking reading. Um, I'm not sure how good I'm going to be actually entering the books that I've read, but as part of that, she has included a series tracker and I will try and put um, a screen grab uh, of what I've got here. Um, for you so you can have a look but she she put three options there for you there's a really detailed option there's a second option which is a little more detailed and then there's a third option which is really really basic um i've used the second option to list out all the series that i haven't started yet so that i know how many books i have there i will go into that later um i've used the really detailed version because the really detailed version and if i've managed to put a screenshot here then you'll be able to see is she has broken it down into different sections. So you've got sagas, you've got uh, trilogies, duologies, you've got um, comic books and manga, and then unfinished. Now I'm not using the unfinished column because I put everything under sagas because the majority of the series that I have in progress have four or more books in the series. So this has now given me a lot of stats because you um and don't only enter in which series it is you enter in the every book in the series their titles you can check off whether you already own them you can check off when you've read them uh, and it gives you a nice lot of stats and with this i'm unlike my um planner tracking i put in every single book in the series 
so that I can see how I'm doing with the series because uh, I have some that are quite chunky and quite long um, and this is really actually really helped me because I can change up this series this tracking and what I've been able to do with this is where I actually already own the books um, I've been able to put them in a particular colour I've used a nice bright pink if uh, the books are available on Kindle Unlimited and I've already downloaded them I've been able to put them in orange so I know they're available to read now and other series uh, where the books are available on Kindle Unlimited but I haven't downloaded them yet um, mainly because I'm up to my limit with how many I can download I have actually put them in red so I can scroll through this list so much easier and see which ones are available now things come in and out of Kindle Unlimited so I will check back with series occasionally but what this spreadsheet does is it also gives you a load of other stats as well so it doesn't just tell me that I've got 92 in progress it also tells me what I've read in comparison to unread how many I own compared to don't own um, and how many there are in total so I've made a note of a few more stats for you because I've done this spreadsheet. So like I said, 92 books in progress that have been carried forward to 2023. There are, in, that, in those 92 series, there are 774 books to read. Some of those uh, are not available yet. Um, some of those I don't own. Some of them I do own. So the number that I already own have on my Kindle, because most of them are on my Kindle or on my shelves, I have 393 of those. So that's quite good. I have almost, I have think I can have a little more than half, but that does leave me with 381 that I don't own. Um, now in that 381, like I say, some of them are available in Kindle Unlimited, which probably does uh, bring it down a little more that, you know, there's quite a few there that I don't have to invest money in because I will just pay my Kindle Unlimited subscription every month and, and read books from there to, to bring series up to date. And as I said, I've marked series where they are available in Kindle Unlimited so that I can actually make good use of that and um, before I have to start spending money on series again. Of those 774, I have only read 234 books which means I have 540 books left across those 92 series to read at some point when and considering I read a, a, around 100 books a year mate, mostly that's a lot of books that's a lot of reading and I am not going to get this list down at any any time soon am I because that's just I'm going to need a real binge if I'm going to do this um so yes yeah, so that does leave me with quite a lot now like I said I do have uh, quite a few series that are in double figures um, I'm not going to read all of those uh, let, let's face it it's going to take me years to work through those uh, in fact one of the the series that I've got in progress I think the author releases two to three books a year in that series and I haven't read any of those for at least 12 months and I've only read 18 and there's like 50 something not you know not including the novellas I think including the novellas we're up near 70 books um so yes and I and I have the likes of the the, the Wheel of Time series um which is a 15 book series and yes so I've had a look a bit more in depth um based on what I know uh of what I actually own and don't own I have 33 series on my on this list of 92 that I have all the books in the series or I have available through Kindle Unlimited all the books in the series so I could complete those now there is 138 books there um, so I'm not, again, I'm not going to read 30, finish 33 series or bring up to date 33 series this year. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Um, but at least I can see at a glance which series, if I really want to focus on series and finishing a series, at least I can see at a glance 
which ones are there, which ones are available, and I can get on with that and I can make best use of my Kindle Unlimited subscription. Um, and I can think more responsibly about spending money because obviously that is a factor. Uh, so I can think more responsibly about those things. In thinking about those 33, I have made um, a bit of a resolution. There are some ser there are some series that I know I'm definitely going to catch up with this year. Um, the first one of those is the Plated Prisoner series by Raven Kennedy. Uh, this is Guild Book One. Um, book four in the series comes out in paperback in January. Uh, so I know I'm going to read that one pretty quickly. Book five does release this year, but only in hardback. So I am going to, even though the series will be complete this year, it's not actually going to be completed next until next year, but it will be brought up to date in terms of paperback availability and less unless unless my library gets it in which case I might just have to borrow it from the library to finish the series because I have a feeling I'm going to want to carry on. Another series that I can easily bring up to date is the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman. Again this is uh, book one in the series. I have all four volumes. Um, it's just the fourth volume that I need to read to bring it up to date. Volume 5 is supposed to be coming out in February 2023, but it isn't actually available anywhere to pre-order yet. So I don't know what's happening with that one, but I will keep an eye out because if that does come out this year, then I will absolutely finish that one. And Heartstopper Volume 5 is the final one in the series, so that will be another series up to date this year. As I said, I've got a few series where I have all the books in them um, to complete them. So, uh, Lock Guard Dragons, Highland Dragons um, by Jessie Donovan, Stonefire Dragons by Jessie Donovan, although she is bringing another one out, but she does release them in Kindle Unlimited, um, and her Tahoe Dragon Mate series. Um, I, have I have access to all of those uh, that are out, so I can easily bring those up to date, and they are quick reads for me they're not ones that take me very long to read at all because i do absolutely love her romance novels um and again i think it's her cougar creek mates or is that felicity heaton there's an yeah there's another couple of series which are available in kindle unlimited um one i've been saying for the last 12 months that i need to read at least another book in the series this year is the wheel of time series by robert jordan this is a reread for me. Um, I've said it many times. I am stuck on book six, but I am determined that I am going to finish book six this year. Um, but again, those are a reread. Uh, so hopefully I will whiz through that one quite quickly. Another series I want to reread this year, um, have already started rereading, is the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Again, I've read this before. Uh, I have all the books, so there is no reason why I shouldn't be able to knock this one off the list. Um, again, like I say, I've read it before. And then I have two series that I have set a resolution that I am going to continue with this year. And I, they are long running series. One of them has 41 books in it, and that is it, that is final. There are no more books because unfortunately the author has passed. The other one has either 21 with book 22 releasing this year or 22 with book 23 releasing this year. Um, and those two series are, so the first one is the Temperance Brennan series by Kathy Rikes. This is Deja Dead, book one in the series. Um, it's about a forensic anthropologist who splits her time between um, Quebec in Canada and uh North Carolina. I can't quite remember where in North Carolina. Um, and Charlotte. That's it. Charlotte in North Carolina. Uh, this is a series I started in my late teens. Uh, Deja Dead was given to me by my sister and I've fallen way behind with it. At uh, the point um, that I fell behind with it, I fell into a slump and then I picked up Romance and never went back to it. So this one is definitely on the radar. I've made a resolution that I am going to read six of these this year. Uh, I read, finished book four in um, December. So by the end of December 2023, I want to have got up to uh, book 10 in the series. 
Um, and at least then that gives me something to focus on. And then the other series that I've made a resolution to continue with this year is the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. This is book one, The Colour of Magic. Uh, this is the one, there are 41 series books in this series. Terry Pratchett passed away a few years ago, quite sadly. I adore his writing. He never fails to make me chuckle. The first few, if you're going to read these in publication order, the first few, you have to know that he's finding his feet. Um, so they are a little harder to get through. But I think from about book seven onwards, um, yes, book seven onwards, they are, he really has hit his stride in, in terms of the humour that he's writing into his books. I have read six of these um, at the start of January. So again, I'm aiming to read six. So my aim was thinking, you know, with reading six of each of these is I could alternate them months um, so that I'm not saturating myself. Uh, but yes, um, so by the end of December this year, I want to have read up to and including book 12 in the Discworld series. So that's my rather lengthy update on where I am with series. I'm not going to set myself a target. The only, like I say, the only target I've set myself this year is to have read six of each of the two series that I just talked about. I'm not going to restrict myself to starting series. If I want to start a series, I'm going to start it. However, that being said, when I went through my series last June, um, I found that I had a lot of series, um, I'm talking over 200 series that were waiting in the wings that hadn't been started and I think I've pretty much got the first book in all of them on my Kindle. I've calculated uh, that at January 1st the number of books in each series um, that is on there, that is on that list, there are 1089 so on top of the the 540 that I have to read there's another thousand books out there that I haven't read yet uh yeah um I don't know when I'm going to get through all of these some of these series may never get read at all um but they're there and I've decided that uh the kind of middle ground um sheet uh no the, the basic sheet um for series tracking that um, Ali gave us. I've decided to put all of the unread ones on there so that at least I've got a written record somewhere of what they are and how many are in the, the series um, so that at least I can then actually transfer them over successfully to my new um, more detailed spreadsheet and, uh, and keep an eye on them and, and how I'm doing with them. Um, so yeah, so that's where I am. Uh, still a lot 92 is still a lot in progress and you know it is what it is if I can bring it down then I will I know there are definitely some that I'm going to be able to bring up to date there's a couple of series that I know there are books coming out this year like I say the the Plated Prisoner series uh, Jessie Donovan series another author Corinne Callahan. I know one of her series she's got a couple of books coming out in January and another one in March I think and then maybe later on this year she might have one coming out in in uh, another series that she's written um yeah at least I can see now much better what I've got to play with uh, which is may actually makes me feel a lot easier um Ali is selling uh, the spreadsheet, um, but it's only five pounds, five UK pounds. Um, I think it's only about five UK dollars. Uh, and for all the hard work that she's put into it, this, this spreadsheet is amazing, the work that she's put into it, because you can list out your TBR. She's got, you know, space there for purchases. You put in what you read. She's got stats on it. Um, and it's got all sorts of different things that you could track on there as well which is just it's just a brilliant spreadsheet and i'm hoping that this is one that i'll be able to keep up with um moving forward so do you keep an eye on your series if you do let me know down below how do you keep an eye on them how are you how with your series how many have you got in progress do you know do you want to know um 
let me know in the comments box down below i love hearing from you all there uh, if you have enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye!